right about now. You're about to be introduced to one of the realest shows in the motherfucking planet. I mean, let's just get, you know what I'm saying, straight into it. Let's not even fuck around because you already know what the people want to talk about. They want to talk about this Kendrick Lamar verse on Control. Money, let me see, yeah. let me see. Jermaine Cole, Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, Meek Mill, ASAP Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J Electron, Tyler, and Mac Miller. Now, if everybody that I named, has anybody heard a response from any of those guys? No. We'll get into the Joel response because I, I, I really want to speak on that because a lot of people, like I said, they hit me up. They're talking about, you know, what do I think about Joel's response, me being in a group with Slaughterhouse, you know, him being, you know, family. Like, he really, everybody wants to know what's going on with that, but I want the people to check it out, you know what I'm saying? See what he did, see his response. He did this in, like, less than 24 hours, I believe. Came up with, you know, bars and went in and, and, and uh, went in for, for what he believed in. I definitely respect him for, for doing what he believed needed to be done, straight up. He just felt like, yo, you know what? Not nobody, nobody gonna say they the king of New York around me. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. I respect him for standing up. He stood the fuck up. And he was the first one to stand up. So I salute that. But my whole thing is, it's like, Kendrick annihilated a beat. You know what I'm saying? He went in and he and he annihilated a beat on a mainstream level. And the mainstream is so... The mainstream is so, you know, watered down right now. That when somebody drops a verse like that on a big stage, it causes mayhem. And then the fact that he added the <clears throat> the, comp- the competition part, being competitive with people that are also in the mainstream, that made it, you know, even crazier. Um, one thing is, throughout my travels, a lot of people always say the West Coast don't got bars. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one that's one thing that that needs to die. That's an urban legend. That's a myth. And each one of us lyricists over here on the West Coast, myself, Razcast, you know, people like Kendrick Lamar, Horseshoe Gang, you know, um, everybody, TDE, all the flame spitters. It's just that we we chip away at that myth every time we pick the mic up. You know what I'm saying? And. Uh, you get tired of that. Like, if you want to be the king of the West Coast, and you got to understand the responsibilities that come with that. You know what I'm saying? And and just my opinion, I think Pac was the last king, man. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I say that because when you look at when you look at all eyes on me, he unite he united and unified the Bay Area all the way down to Southern Cali on that project. You had E40. Richie Rich, Sebo, you know what I'm saying? All the way to Dog Pound, DJ Quick. He united the coast. And it hasn't been done since. That's king shit. That's king shit to me. That's just my opinion. Hold on. Yo, bass, stop that real quick. I need that motherfucking TDE Slaughterhouse collab to happen. I don't give a fuck about none of this other shit that's going on. That's the shit that I want to see happen. Can we make that happen? Now that would be dope. 